Hello. In this video, we are going to go over solving rational functions. So what we need to do first is that we need to recognize that this is a rational functions equation. There's an equal sign. So therefore, we're not just combining the common denominators. Here, we're going to try and get rid of all of them. So the first thing we do is make sure all denominators are completely factored. So we see y minus 4 cannot be factored anymore. The 8 on this denominator cannot be factored anymore. And then on this one, we can take a GCF. We take a 2, and it becomes y minus 4. Now we write our common denominator. Our common denominator is all the different pieces. I see y minus 4. I see an 8. I see a 2 and a y minus 4. So clearly, y minus 4 is one of them. And then you have to take the bigger of the, of the numbers when it comes to coefficients like this. So we know we have to take 8 because 2 goes into 8. So the, com the greatest common denominator would be 8 y, 8 times y minus 4. Then we're going to multiply that to each term, 8 y minus 4 times 8 y minus 4. So I'm going to rewrite on the next step just so it's a little more clear. 1 y minus 4. And then up here we have times 8 y minus 4. Then we have plus 1 over 8. Then times 8 y minus 4. And then equals to negative 5 over 2 y minus 4 times 8 y minus 4. So all I did was rewrite that. Next, I'm going to cancel the common denominator with the denominator and leave what's left. The y minus 4 cancels here. And we see we leave the numerator in parentheses and bring what's left in the common denominator that did not cancel. Let's use a different color. So 1 would come down from the numerator. And the 8 did not cancel. So that also comes down in parentheses. Then we write our plus sign. And we see 8 will cancel this time. Our 1 remains, and y minus 4 remains in parentheses. Next, we see y minus 4 cancels, and a piece of this 8 will cancel, because 2 and 8 cancels, leaving a 4. So what's left here is we have negative 5 in parentheses, multiplied by 4 in parentheses. Now, all we're going to do is clean up. 8 times 1 is 8 distribute your one, which is easy, just becomes y minus four. And then negative five times four is negative 20. Then we're gonna combine like terms. y plus four is equal to negative 20, minus four, minus four, y is equal to negative 24. Now, the next thing you have to do is double check restrictions because the common denominator cannot equal to zero. So we see 8y minus 4 can't be 0. Divide by 8 to both sides. y minus 4 cannot equal 0. y cannot equal 4. Since this is not 4, this will work and we are okay. And this solves the equation. 